Hey everybody! Here's the painting from my reverse string pull and it's super cool. Remember I said, let's get you into the light. Remember I said over here, oh look at all those copper cells coming out. They look, it looks a lot different dry but it's so cool. It's like, check that out. And I may resin this piece because the resin would really make I mean, that copper with resin, that'd be really sweet. So I like how that turned out. And then this is the other one I worked on. It is still wet, as you can see the light bouncing off it. It has been well over, well, not well. It's probably been 30 hours. Almost everything I do is dry within like 18 to 24 hours. But obviously, due to the size of this, um, it doesn't look too thick. I don't see like any areas that are going weird, but it's still drying. Alrighty. Ooh, that's a little far down. There we go. the colors that I'm going to do. I picked those out yesterday and then decided it was time for me to go up and get ready to go to dinner. So I was like, I better stop painting. So I've got deep magenta, um, metallic blue, and um, it's a deep yellow mixed with another yellow. Um, and I found these long shot glasses that like, I bought them like 15 years ago. And they still are kind of cool. But some aren't all there, had come in like a little set. So I may use them to pour. But then I was thinking these colors would be really pretty um, in a Dutch pour. What I call a hair dryer pour. But it, I think has, the name has changed now. <laughs> but I have no idea why it's called a Dutch pour. I have always just called it a hair dryer technique. So this is a 10 by 10 um, pine panel or birch. And I'm leaving the sides natural so I have them taped. I primed it with gesso and then sanded it smooth. So the video for that reverse string pull was today, and I was delighted. The comments were all so positive. I loved it. You guys made me feel happy. I do not think there's going to be enough of paint in here. So you need a lot of paint for these pores.
way this paint is acting right now, I don't think it will be very conducive to the hair dryer. So I may do something different. I was gonna do something with silicone and then I realized I will be resining this and I don't want Maybe I'll use the air compressor instead. was not mixed up very well. I can like see it. Stretch it out, which could be difficult because there's not a whole lot of paint on here. Send it on down towards you. Surely it is making its way. made an appointment with an allergist though after like decades of suffering decided to go I haven't wanted to because then they will most likely say allergy shots because mine are really bad and I don't mind the shots at all I don't care about that but it's going to be really expensive <laughs> and that is why I have avoided it a couple years ago, we had actually met our deductible, and I was like, oh, I'm going to go do these allergy sh testing now, and I never did. Now I'm kicking myself, because I'm sure they're like $10 million. Maybe not quite that much, but...
But once again, if they show nothing, then I think I should get a refund. <laughs> Just like my chest x-ray last month. If tests are negative, we should get refunds. <laughs> I'm sure the insurance companies would totally be on board with that. Some of the paint like right there was starting to collect because um, it was drying unevenly. Due to the um, air. more how I wanted it. So my poor dog, 4th of July is Thursday. This might, I don't know when this will be on. It'll either be Wednesday or Friday. Probably not Thursday, but she would not go outside to pee last night because of the fireworks. So my husband had to take a treat out there and like do a whole song and dance to get her to go to the bathroom. She's like my dog technically ish, but I was already in bed. <laughs> there is. I don't know what that was. So I'm actually not super happy about this. Um, I love this, and I know I did that on purpose, but like these are super, super cool. But I don't love how the colors didn't mix, which is, I did that on purpose to see if I would like it, and I don't really. Um, and I hate to wipe it because it is pretty. Um, yeah, and there's, so I'm going to let it dry, um, and then take a gander at it once it's dry, because I can always pour over it. But as we all know, once I wipe it, it's no, there's no going back. So you can see why I love this area. That's just super cool. Very, very, very awesome. And there it is as a whole. So 
So maybe I'll just take pictures of that center part. Because that is awfully awesome. But we'll see. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye.